Hi all, I am Muhammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in this video, we will be discussing about S3 bucket and um, how can we create a S3 bucket and how can we upload the few images to the S3 bucket. Okay, so for that, I have logged into AWS console. Okay, so here um, S3 is available in the recent visited menu, but we can also search from here. We can just click on the S3 here. Okay, so S3 will be available. So just click on this S3. Okay, so let me let me go back. Let me show you one more thing. So now I am here. You can see that my region is Northern Virginia, right? So let me click on the S3 bucket. So now its region is changed to global. Okay, so whenever we create a S3 bucket, it's a, it's actually creating globally. I mean, its name should be globally available. You are globally unique that we have discussed in our previous video. Okay, so now let's click on this create bucket button. So here, let me give a bucket name here. I have given the bucket name as a test. So here I have enabled ownership as ACL disabled. This is recommended, but when we disable this one, it may be difficult for us to enable, to make it public. So it will, I, I will show you that. So first make it disabled here, okay. Now, next option is like block all public access setting to for this, bu this bucket. That means it is blocking all the public access. So I'm making it as a default. Now we have bucket versioning that is disabled, then default encryption that is also disabled. Now I'm going to click on the create button. Okay, I'm getting an error, let's see. The bucket with the same name is already exist. That is somebody has already created this particular name, test. So let me try like maybe, can have like Naji demo. I believe this is available. Now let me go and create this one, okay? Okay, so this bucket has been created. You guys can see like there are two other buckets are there, just ignore it. So we have created a bucket called Naji demo. So here we can see bucket and objects not public, okay? Now click on the Naji demo. Here, the object count is zero, and we can see that few properties are here. I mean, a few menus are here, like properties, permissions, metrics, management, and access point, okay? So in the object menu, here we can try to upload image, okay? So I click on the upload button. Now let me add a file here. So I'm going to two files here, dolphin and host. Now I am going to click on it, okay, open. So just click on the upload. So we can see here the progress. Okay, the uploading is done. Now let me close this one. <coughs> okay. Now we have two files are there. One is dolphin.jpg and host.jpg. I'm click on this host.jpg. So this is the object URL. So this can be, just me click, click on this one. See, this is now access is denied. We are getting a message called access is denied. So the reason for this is, we made the bucket as a private, right? That is why we are getting this particular message. So for that, what we need to do, first go to that bucket menu. Click on the bucket and uh, go to permissions. Here, block public access bucket. Just click on this edit. Okay, just uncheck this one. Okay, so earlier we blocked all the public access. Now we are unchecking it. Okay, go and save. Now let me confirm this.
Okay. Let me go to the bucket again. See now the see the axis. Now the object can be public. Okay. Earlier it was like uh, object is private or something like that. Now it is changed to object can be public. Okay. Now we'll like go to that bucket. Now just click on this holes. Okay. Here we can click on this actions menu. Here we can see that make public using ACL. So this is actually disabled. Okay. So we need to do like one more settings change. For that, let me go to the bucket. Go to permissions. Okay. Here we have object ownership. Just go here, edit, make it ACL enabled. Okay. So we can make object writer for the time being. Just save changes. Okay. Let me confirm it and save changes. So coming back to our host.jpg, let me click on this one. Now go to actions. See now the make public using ACL is enabled. Just click on it. Make it public. Okay, it's done. Let me close it. Now we can try to access this particular URL. Just click on this one. See, we can see that this is now publicly publicly accessible. Okay, but the same time we can see that dolphin.jpg just click on this still like we have only make the host.jpg as a public right but we didn't do any changes with respect to the dolphin.jpg that is why it is showing as a access denied so here we can do the same access here okay now i am in dolphin.jpg file here also we can do the same thing here we have a object action we can make public using ACL. Just make it public. Okay. Let me close this one. Just click on this. See, now this is also available publicly. Okay. Now, we can delete this bucket. So even though the cost is very less, okay, it is good habit to remove like all the resources. Otherwise, like they will be charging some amount of dollars. Okay. So for that, let me click on this bucket and I can go and delete this one. There is a delete button is here. So it says, it's showing an error. This says this bucket is not empty. Okay, so first we need to make it empty. First we need to make it empty. For that, I can click on this empty button. Okay, I can copy and paste permanently delete to confirm this okay exit so we can double check it so there is no file system right now let me delete this one i can type it here naji demo now just delete it okay so it is done, it's deleted, okay? So we have, what we have done, we have created a S3 bucket and we have uploaded a file and two images and we made it public and we have deleted bucket and the, all the files, okay? So that is all in this video. I hope this helped you get understand about the S3 bucket. Please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.